Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain about a new change that recently happened in Selenium automation and that to coming for the Chrome browser, okay? So let me show you that new change on the official website of Selenium first. So for that, I'll open the browser and take you to the official website of Selenium that is selenium.dev and just go to the block section. When you go to the block section, you see what's new in Selenium Manager with Selenium, latest version of Selenium 4.11.0. So there is something change related to Chrome, Chrome for testing, okay? So a separate browser is given by Google Chrome, okay? Google company has given a separate browser for Selenium test automation. We should not be using the general browser that is general Chrome browser given by the Google company. Rather, we have to use a separate browser that is called as Chrome browser for testing, CTF, okay? Which is also given by the Google company itself, okay? Here the change is not from the Selenium side, but rather the change is from the Chrome browser side where they are giving us a separate browser to use for running the Selenium automation scripts on Chrome browser, okay? We should not be anymore running our Selenium automation scripts on the general Chrome browser. We have to use it for general browsing. Whereas coming to running your Selenium automation scripts on a browser that is Chrome browser, we have to use this Chrome for testing CTF browser given by the Google company. But how to configure and all, what changed and all, I'm going to cover in this session, okay? So let me start it, okay? Explanation, you understood it. Now, how to use it in a practical way, I'll cover. Further, I'll switch to the Eclipse ID. I'll first create a normal Java project. Here, select project and search for Java. You'll get a Java project. Click on next, the Java project. Here, give some name, guys, okay? I'll say demo, sample, project. You can give any name. Click on finish. Name doesn't matter. Once the project is created, okay? So open perspective, remember my DG and open perspective, that's fine. Any other things? No. Just minimize all this stuff. These are not required. Only keep these two panes. Now expand this project. Here we got the SRC and for that we got some sample file. I'll delete that. I don't want that file. So I'll right click on this file and simply, you know, type, okay. Right click on this and simply say delete. Say okay. Now we will create a new Java file under SRC. I'll just name it as uh, demo.java. Like this, demo. Dot demo. Just give the name of the Java file as demo. You don't have to mention .java here and you know that. Click on finish. And uh, inside this demo.java, a class got created, public class with the same name of the file. And here create public static void main of ox write this code a main method you create you already know about java now here write some selenium code like this web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver you already know that i'm using 115.xm version okay so from chrome browser version 115.x onwards this change happened where we need to use a separate browser for testing or running our selenium automation scripts on chrome browser okay it should not be using the general Chrome browser anymore. So I will not be able to import this. To import this, what I have to do is, uh, I have to go to the official website of uh, Selenium again and download the jar files of uh, latest version of Selenium, okay? So, so let us let me open the browser. Uh, I have chosen the Firefox because you know, in Firefox, the download will happen fast. In Chrome, it will take some time. So I generally prefer for downloading, I generally prefer the Firefox browser. I'll go to the downloads, guys, okay? And here, after going to the downloads, here, 4.11.0 is there. Uh, don't pick any version below 4.11.0. 4.11.0 or above version, you just pick it, okay? For this thing, for this to explore, okay? Choose a version which is uh, 4.11.0 or above, that's fine. Uh, open that and here we got the zip file extract that you will get all the jar files of selenium right let's see let's replace if you get that just select replace 
and all the jar files got extracted expand that and uh, here we got the jar files copy all the only the jar files okay don't copy the other files just copy only the jar files copy them and uh, here come and create a folder like a uh, name lib libraries or library you can give any name just paste it here control v or right click paste whatever some jar files came the things are not done yet uh, here in the extracted folder you have lib folder in that also some jar files are there better to copy them also all the jar files outside the lib folder and inside the lib folder you copy paste in that extracted zip file and paste it here now after that right click on the project go to properties select java build path go to this library tab select class path click on add jars expand this project expand this lib folder select all the jar files that you copy pasted into the lib folder of this project say okay apply apply and close now they will be configured okay i'm going to show you the separate browser for running the selenium automation script starting from 115.x chrome version browser onwards okay you should not be using the normal browser version when i run the script you will be able to see that separate uh, browser okay Pour the mouse on this and import this uh, web driver from Selenium library, import this Chrome driver class from Selenium library, driver dot, just write some sample script, dot uh, window dot maximize, then driver dot get, here give some application URL, mm. open the browser and go to one sample application URL like uh, omai.blogspot.com, just sample application which I generally use in my automation recorded videos done okay we got the script ready but before i do anything we need the driver executable file for chrome so how to get that for that again i need to go to the official website of selenium better to download from chrome uh, firefox browser selenium.dev just go to the selenium.dev and go to the downloads page and in the downloads page scroll down until you go to a section known as browser section click on that so you'll get the chrome click on documentation will be taken to this uh, chrome driver.chromium.org on this web page just click on this downloads and here you can see some warning in uh, red color they are trying to communicate something selenium guys are trying to communicate something if you are using chrome version 115 or newer okay or more then please consult this page they are saying okay the process is no more same you have to use a separate chrome browser for testing for running your selenium automation scripts going ahead you should not be using the general or normal chrome browser that you download from the internet okay so for that just click on this link guys chrome for testing and you will be taken to this dashboard kind of stuff where you can see stable stable upcoming and all uh don't go for other stuff just click on the stable and you see 115 and all those things are there here two things are there one is a, a chrome browser we have to download separate chrome browser we have to download guys okay and separate chrome driver we have to download earlier we used to download only the chrome driver.exe file for running the scripts on chrome browser but now along with the chrome driver.exe file you have to even download the browser also a ctl browser okay uh, chrome browser for uh, testing okay that separate browser uh, you will not get this browser from like uh, if when you try to download it from the internet in a normal way Okay, from this page only, we'll get this separate browser for uh, running the Selenium automation scripts. In this, I choose Windows 64 version. I'll copy this uh, Chrome. This is a Chrome browser, guys. Okay, so if you don't want to go with the Chrome browser first, first let's go with the Chrome driver.exe. Again, here also Windows 64. I'm going, the Chrome, I'm going with the Chrome driver.exe file first, okay, that you already know. So copy that and uh, just paste it in the new tab or something and uh, press enter. A zip file will be downloaded, guys. Go to that. It will take you to the downloads folder and you can see a zip file uh, here. You see, this is the one. Extract that. Extract all. Extract. You'll get the chrome driver.exe file. Nothing much. Okay. After extracting, in this, you will get a chrome driver.exe file. Copy that and go to the project. And here, create a folder known as drivers folder. You can give any name. I'm just giving drivers folder and paste it. You'll get the chrome driver.exe. Give the path of this chrome driver.exe. Right click on this, select properties, copy this path, entire path. Okay, till chrome driver.exe, cancel. And here, write down system dot, system dot set property. Go for property. And here, write down 
webdriver dot property name is webdriver dot chrome dot driver as you already know and here double quotes give the full path of the chrome driver dot exe file okay that you just now copied here from here okay that this part is done but now there's one more thing that we should not be using the normal browser right anymore we have to download a separate browser for running our selenium automation scripts given by the google chrome company for testing or for running our test automation scripts so for that to happen first we need to create an object for the chrome options chrome options options is equal to new chrome options chrome options and uh, for the mouse import this chrome options from selenium library now say options dot there's something known as set binary okay just select something and just uh, create double quotes and here we need to give the path of that uh, uh, chrome browser separate chrome browser for running selenium automation scripts okay for the chrome browser version starting from 115.x onwards okay so how to get that uh, we already have went to the dashboard page if you remember right uh, uh, if, if i uh, if you remember here we got the chrome driver.exe here on the top we got the chrome browser versions also browser also okay again i'll go with the windows 64 and copy this url and uh, in the new tab i'll just press enter i'll get this uh, chrome windows 64 which will contain the chrome a separate chrome browser okay for running our selenium automation scripts expand it uh, ex uh just open the folder you'll get the zip file this is a zip file guys extract that extract chrome window 64 will come here you see expand that once extraction is done still going on guys okay let's wait for the extraction to be completed once completed open and inside this folder you'll find chrome.exe file okay you can give the path of this okay you can give the path of this right click on this say properties and copy this entire path okay copy this entire path and uh, give it here and here say double slash chrome.exe the name is chrome.exe only right chrome.exe just copy this one here if you want a doubtful about the spelling mistake then copy these options and provide that in the constructor of the chrome driver that's it this is what you have to do guys we got a we got a chrome driver.exe file we got a browser okay we got a separate browser for running our selenium automation script this is a separate browser we are going to use and now this is a code the other code is common okay you just need to pass the chrome options here and the remaining code is common guys anything you can write now run the script and you will see the new latest uh, new chrome browser for testing for running the selenium automation scripts okay always say okay okay so we'll get a notification on the chrome browser okay i'll show you let the chrome browser launch and maximize you see this is not the general chrome browser it is chrome for testing you see we have not opened the normal chrome browser that we generally use for navigation purpose or browsing purpose rather we are using the chrome browser for testing okay which can only be used for automation testing for running our selenium automation scripts going ahead starting 115.x already our chrome browser versions got automatically updated to 115 so make sure that you follow this kind of approach going ahead so hope guys uh, you got the idea or uh, the knowledge about the new change that happened recently in selenium automation coming to the chrome browser where we have to run our selenium automation scripts on a separate chrome browser okay chrome browser for testing purpose kind of browser instead of normal browser so that's all for this session thank you bye bye